KMR. Welcome back to the channel that braps. We're going to talk a little bit of rotary because that's what we do here. So this is the rear Renesis RX-8 side plate that we actually took a look at a few weeks ago. It had been surface ground, or as somebody in the comment section pointed out, it's a most likely a CNC uh, with some type of grinding head that had done a circular uh, grinding operation. Um, and the reason I agree with this is it does not look like it had been done with a fly cutter. That's a very distinct mark. It has the look of being stone ground. And uh, upon discussion and uh, thought, yes, it is circular. So it's unlikely that it was done with a traditional grinder or uh, um, you know anything like that. Uh, so things to always be concerned about are the surface finish. You don't want it too rough. That can cause damage or break-in issues or premature wear and failure if it's ex excessively rough or not perfectly flat. Um, that can also lead to sealing issues in the combustion chambers. And you've always got to be concerned about your water seal gallery, your water seal area. Um, if that's not flat, that can also lead to premature failure or water sealing issues. So when it comes to grinding or lapping, um, you know, you can go either way. It just needs to be done uh, well. It needs to be good service and the housing needs to be flat and it needs to be borderline of a polished finish. Once this housing is cleaned off, uh, you basically be able to take and do a light a uh, sanding polish with thousand grit sandpaper and that would almost give you a mere finish after we're done lapping but when we're talking about this area that's been ground it does look like this particular housing is savable which is great news for the customer not everybody has the luxury of buying a brand new side plate so in a lot of cases lapping resurfacing like i said a factory recommended service um, is the way to go um, and that can give you a full second life like new um, per your components. Because when you are rebuilding a motor, if you're just putting the parts back in as used, it's hard to tell if the motor or rather the housing is perfectly flat. If you don't know the history, it's been overheated or there's damage maybe from a blow up or over rev. These are over rev. These are all reasons that you know you may need to send one of these side housings, side plates out for lapping. So... Within the Renesis, there are concerns. Obviously, the housing needs to stay flat. And in some of the later model castings, sometimes we do see some porosity in the castings. Luckily enough, this particular casting looks very good. It's very dense. Um, it's still very flat. And we've only got about one half of a thousandth of an inch drop left. Um, it was hard to measure, but we knew we had somewhere about a thou and a thou and a half variance in wave. And uh, now that we've been on the table for a little bit, we've been flattening it out. Um, we actually had a little bit more of a pattern going on. I just didn't think to videotape it. But as I pulled it off uh, just a few minutes ago to check to see how the progress was going, I thought, oh, I definitely need to videotape and show the progress and show that we are able to save this housing. Um, so I think that's about a wrap. If anybody has questions, let me know. We run a fairly fine lapping solution on our lapping table because we are going for a fairly fine surface finish. We want close to polish, similar to the factory finish. And uh, again, uh, grinding is not necessarily a always don't do it or a not to do on rotaries it just needs to be done properly it needs to be a fine finish and it needs to be flat and in this case the circular grinding head had not only caused circular cut patterns which were evident as you pulled your finger across it but it had also created depth in those patterns so for whatever reason uh, maybe the grinding head was wobbling or was chattering but it definitely uh, did not do its job and flatten this housing out the way the customer needed it. So we're doing it. We're getting it flat. Uh, we're getting it flat. That's a wrap. Um, I could probably talk all about this even longer, but uh, I think generally if you want to know more about lapping, we've got other videos on the channel. So I'll try to link some of those other 
lapping discussion videos below, and I'll put the link to this part in its previous discussion below. Yeah, thanks for watching. We're going to rotary on out of here. I'm just getting myself dirty. You don't want to get this on you. Lapping compounds, no joke. Coming back to life. That's a wrap.